on then, boy. Say hi. Look. Not impressed. Before we begin today, I want to give you all a massive thank you. We passed the magic half a million subscriber mark uh, at some point on Saturday evening for me. Hugely appreciated. And to celebrate, we're going to have a whole week of Flat Earth Fridays, Monday to Sunday, with the exception of Tuesday. We'll keep that as a Tim for Tuesday, starting week beginning Monday the 11th of December. And to finish things up for the week, we'll be having a live stream on the Sunday evening. I think it's the 17th, where you can ask me some questions and we can celebrate together. Once again, thank you. Mark Sargent is the poster child of the Flat Earth movement. Whether Flat Earthers like it or not, and I can guarantee you that a majority of them do not, he is. He's made TV appearances, he's done documentaries, he's made adverts. All for what? Well, today Mark is going to talk about what he thinks is a real shift in the momentum of Flat Earth and how he thinks that it's taking over. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Raycon. Raycon have really made a name for themselves in premium audio. With products like their everyday earbuds and their new lines of Raycon Home and Raycon Power Tech products. They really do provide premium tech products at a great price. So much so that their products have earned tens of thousands of five star reviews. With stuff like easy and free returns, free shipping and buy now pay later options you can certainly see why. Raycon products are so universally useful that they're perfect for that last minute holiday gift or to help someone ring in the new year. For me, it would be the everyday audio kit, everyday earbuds and everyday headphones to service all of your audio needs. Now I use my everyday earbuds almost every day, believe it or not. Right now I'm busy writing the 500k subscriber celebration videos and I use them to hear the Flurf videos as best as I can. This holiday season, get premium audio and power tech at a great price and save even more doing it. Go to buyraycon.com slash simandan to get 15% off site-wide. Right, back to today's video and Mark Sargent telling us all that the flat earthers are starting to take over. Should be an interesting one. Away you go, Mark. I have to address a question which people have been asking me off and on since 2015. Mark, why have you been able to do some of the cool stuff that others with broader platforms and bigger numbers have not? The answer is simple. I doxed myself on day one. Doxed meaning that I put my personal information online so that people could reach out and find me if they wanted to. Why? Because when I made the Flat Earth Clues in 2015, I still had a lot of questions, and I was hoping that the internet hive mind could help me, which they did, mostly because they had an easy way to message me directly. This is true. He did do this, and it's fine if that's what you want to do. I know Mark isn't married, and I don't think he's got any young children, so it's a relatively low risk to do this. I don't think, though, that this is the reason why Mark gets invited for interviews and things like that. Now, I believe it's because he's articulate, he doesn't foam at the mouth when he talks like other flat earthers, and he's probably the most affable flat earther out there. Now, Mark goes on to tell us a bit about his personal info, which I won't include. I know he includes it in his video, but we'll move on to the more juicier stuff. Zodiac sign is Taurus. I'm looking for a double Gemini with a bad moon rising. Whatever that means. That's not true. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Turn-ons include good kissers and critical thinkers. Turn-offs include bad kissers and anyone who thinks Elon Musk is a critical thinker. Seriously, guys, Elon is not your friend. Do not try to convince me that he should be my friend. I mean, look at this shot. He's been a fraud for the last 25 years. You don't like Elon Musk then? Fair enough. Now he tells us more about all the stuff he likes and everything like that, so we'll move on to his actual point. This next image and paragraph is for our enemies, our critics, and our detractors. It has been sensationalized just for them because, as we all know, mainstream media loves drama. They have always tried to villainize us, and I am happy to accommodate. It goes something like this. The Flat Earth Army is alive and well. Now that your mandates have been lifted, we are again on the move. 
Yes, from a platform that you were spreading through like wildfire to a platform that only flat earthers watch, uh, Rothkin or BitChute or whatever it is. That is fine by me. We are coming for your friends. We are coming for your family. We are coming for your coworkers. All of whom will laugh you out the room. Once we get them, we will then come for you. It's only a matter of time. We are everywhere. You can join us and thrive or wither in ignorance as the world changes around you. Make the decision or don't. It doesn't matter. The result will eventually be the same. You will become one of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've been saying that for what? 10 years now? Keep saying it, Mark. It won't happen. Long live Flat Earth. And that's the end of the dramatic soundbite. Anyone in media can email me directly for the text version. The real truth behind that statement is that we already did all those dramatic things years ago. We have essentially won the social media war. The other side just hasn't realized it yet. The proof is already out there for everyone to see. It's just that the opposition refuses to look at it. Consider this. We've been creating Flat Earth online content for the last eight years, and yet our biggest YouTube channels are all in the low six figures for subscriber count. The highest is ODD TV with 336,000. David Weiss and I both didn't crack 100K until this year. Jaronism is creeping along at 160K. The total number of subs from our larger content creators, including Eric Dubay, is a little over a million. And how many of those are people that actually believe the Earth is flat? Half, maybe? Most of them are there to see the funny fails of the Flat Earthers. Many people I know subscribe to Flat Earth channels for that very reason. And yet, not only do we do a national conference every year, we were putting on conferences during the pandemic when almost no one else was. Shout out to Karen B for making that happen. How is any of this possible with slow moving channels? Because behind the scenes, we are still the biggest secret guilty pleasure of the internet. Do a search in YouTube, type flat earth and sort by view count. What you are looking at are the first generation click chasers jumping on the metrics following the trends. Yes, those larger channels made spoofy and educational videos uh, for that very reason. It was a trending topic. That does not mean, though, that you are growing. Shane Dawson, 40 million hits with 19 million subs. Vsauce, 35 million hits with 20 million subs. Mr. Beast, 28 million hits with 190 million subs. The overall numbers are staggering. Over a billion flat earth views from the verified YouTube channels alone. That's just one platform. The masses have been enjoying our content for years, but for the most part have been afraid to subscribe to our channels because who you sub to is sometimes viewable by the public. 90% of our members are still in the closet. They come from all walks of life and they are all around you. An invisible army that infects everything with critical thinking and truth. A virus that opens minds. And today is the only real pandemic. Well. I'm not so sure about that. Now on X, formerly known as Twitter, a flat earther challenged me to put up a poll on the shape of the earth. He said, post a poll and give it five days, we'll see who the joke is on. So I did. And the flat earthers shared it like crazy. They are all over X, there's so many of them. At the time of recording, it's been shared over 415 times mostly by flat earthers and one who i noticed did it almost every day now also at the time of the recording it has had over 22,000 votes and the current standings are 63 percent for the oblate spheroid and 37 percent for flat now the flat earthers on x gave this everything they shared it far and wide they thought they were going to win this poll amazing isn't it bless them at one point in 2018, we were so popular in the search engines, we were outpacing all but the highest mainstream topics. During the summer of that year, we hit 20.9 million search results in YouTube. Ah, what happened in 2018 that would cause that? I wonder. Lift up your, lift up your light way above your head. Interesting. Ah, yes. A bunch of flat earthers proved that the earth was rotating and that it was curved in a documentary that ended up being on Netflix. No doubt 
that that was the reason for this. Now you can see the release of uh, that documentary on Netflix in this first peak here on a Google Trends graph. As you can see, it's not really grown much in the last few years in terms of Google searches. In fact, at the moment, beavers are more popular. I think you get my point. When President Donald Trump was sitting at 20.8, and then weeks later, YouTube did the unthinkable. They removed the search results calculator from the main page for all topics forever. In a sense, they killed the scoreboard in an effort to slow us down. To think that this was all for your benefit is laughable, to be honest. They also reduced flat earth recommendations by 70%. Some might see that as delusional. YouTube wouldn't remove a ranking system because of flat earth. Really? This year, a show listener told me that so many people are currently searching for flat earth now it affects non-related topics as well. This year, a show listener told me that so many people are currently searching for flat earth now it affects non-related topics as well. Doesn't look that way, does it? The listener was watching a cheesy UFO movie. You know the type where the aliens say, take me to your leader. He became curious. Who is the leader of earth? So he Googled and clicked on images. Feel free to do this with me. What do we find? Putin, Doctor Who, and, uh-oh, what's this? Mark Sargent, the leader of Earth? Sadly, no, but you can see how it happened. People search for Flat Earth so many times that any search involving the word Earth has been infected by our curiosity. You mean comedy. You're welcome. This also means that you can't give me a hard time when the spaceships show up and start asking about me. Why am I so optimistic about Flat Earth? Because I've seen what has been built so far and where it's going. I've seen the future. The content created by people in and outside of this room became the rock-solid foundation for the first-generation click chasers who, in turn, have influenced the next generation to do what I never thought was possible. The masses of Gen Z and Gen Alpha kids that follow them have been influenced so heavily that for the first time, future careers have become part of the group think, an extension of the hive mind. Pretty sure they all want to become flat earth debunkers like me. I joke, I joke. But seriously, they're going to mock you. Well, there we go. What do we all think of Mark's little montage there? Did he do a good job? Something we need to worry about? Or pie in the sky? Let me know what you think in the comments. But for now, we're all done and dusted for another Flat Earth Friday. Thank you so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I know we're past half a million, but now we're going for the big one, the million. I, I get that it's going to take a while. Don't worry. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button too. Just enough time to once again thank Raycon for sponsoring today. Remember, visit buyraycon.com slash Simandan to get that 15% off site-wide for all your holiday shopping. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a great weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday for the return of Texas Danny and his Mandela-affected geographical movements. See you then.